Hey guys, what's up? It's a gamer and today. I got some big news for you guys. The casino trailer just released, and I can't do a um uh, uh reaction to it because I'm not really sure how to record on my laptop. Um, I'm not using the one I had last year. That one broke, and I got a new one a few months back. And it's one of those ones where I just I don't know how to really use it just to browse the internet and look stuff up. But anyways, um, this DLC it looks it looks really good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it looks like you were gonna be um be able you we're gonna be able to uh have our own little penthouse on top of the um casino and I think we're gonna be able to customize the penthouse the casino. I'm not really sure if we're gonna be able to <coughs> excuse me, um I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to customize the casino. I'm not sure if you're just gonna buy it. I'm hoping this DLC is um in the range of at least like one million to like at least five million because um I have about 8.5 million dollars online. I had 9 million, but you know, I was burying a hole in my pocket. But anyways, um, this is um, this looks really cool. I'm hoping, you know, we get some you know cool people. I'm I'm Brucey's back from GTA 4. If you don't know him, he was at, I don't know, just he was just um Nico Bellic's friend from GTA 4. Um, he uh, he was Roman Bellic's good friend. <clears throat> Tao Chang, the guy that Trevor met with, um, in GTA 5, and his translator, they are back too, um, I'm hoping that dad isn't back, I'm hoping that the canon ending to GTA 5 is definitely, um, uh, where you kill his dad, you know, hopefully that there's some way they can, you know, make out on that one, but, like, hopefully that's the canon ending, because I'd be pretty disappointed if I, you know, found out it wasn't, because I think it is, um, so, basically, this DLC involves, you know, Tao Chang. I think you buy the casino or purchase it with him. And there's um there's some people on there. The uh, translator, I'm, I think I just said this already, but the translator is back. The guy that, you know, helped translate him. <coughs> um, Jeez, um, there's a lot of people, these um, Texas people um, that want to buy the casino. I think they're, like, going to destroy it or something. I don't know. I heard something on the... The thing, um, casino looks awesome. I think, you know, I think we might get some cowboy hats because, um, look at that trailer. They look pretty new. Um, there's this lady, I'm not sure what her name is. She's like, oh, yeah, if there's, we're going to do this, we're going to destroy it. Um, um, there's going to be horse racing, lots of gambling games. I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, definitely missions, hopefully high paying missions, you know, just because, you know, like with our last DLC, the Arena War, which did incredibly horrible um i felt like it was just one of those dlcs that rockstar put out that didn't really do well to be truly honest like you know last year they had you know they did a good job with um you know the uh cas casino on um, the after hours so i'm pretty tired i'm um, the after hours dlc where they um you know open the nightclub with um tony tony prince from gta baldy tony um laszlo um, English Dave, um, and then a bunch of DJs, DJs, I think that's pretty cool that they did that, hopefully this is a bigger DLC, I'm hoping that, we, you know, we get to see some other things in it too, not just, you know, this DLC, I'm hoping that there's more life to the casino, you know, more NPCs that do stuff, because in the after hours, I'm not gonna lie, you know, I think because the casino, jeez, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I think the, um, the nightclubs were cool, you know, very good money making aspect, but there was, there was no life to the top of it, it's just like, you know, like, for, 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 sorry, I'm starting, for the first few weeks of, um, the After Hours DLC, I basically, what I did was, um, short for words, <laughs> um, what I did was, I, uh, I'm sorry, I'm tired right now, um, what I did was I, you know, really did the After Hours stuff, and you know, my popularity went down, the guy right back up, you know, that was fun for the first few weeks, but then, like, after a bit, it's, it just got boring, and I'm like, man, what am I doing here, you know? But I'm hoping that this DLC will be a lot different, and I'm hoping that um, it's going to be life. And hopefully a good business model or something that pays a lot of money. You know, like I said, the Arena War did horrible, you know. It was one of those DLCs, like, for the first week or two, they had double money on uh, the Arena Wars. And, you know, they um, people were playing it, you know. You know, it was paying not that good. <clears throat> and then... Once they ended, no one played the Arena Wars no more. It was basically one of those DLCs that was just put there, you know. I feel like they would have done better if they did something else, like, 
open the Maze Bank Arena and like have I don't know auditions like you know the famous Shea mission from GTA 5, or I don't know some, something cool you know I, I kind of wish they went that way but they um, sadly didn't so it is it is what it is. Um, I'm watching the trailer right now as I'm making this video. Um, it looks like you're gonna be able to people are gonna be stealing your cars or something like that and you have to get them back. Um, again, Brucey's back and I, I I just gotta say. GTA 5, GTA 4 characters in GTA 5 look so horrible. Nothing against Rockstar, they're doing their best, but how we saw um, Tony last year, he looked so bad, and like, Brucey literally looks just like some random NPC, you know, I mean, I'm not saying, oh, it's so bad, I'm just saying, like, it just doesn't fit, you know, like, some characters in GTA 4 look better, some of them just look so bad, you know, <clears throat> But uh, that, that that's my opinion on it. I'm not sure about yours. But um, uh, looks like you'll be seeing Brucey in a lot of the missions. Thank God they brought him back. You know, I mean, he was in it for like I think we we're gonna be able to take a car from him for the Devin Weston missions. Um, looks like we'll be racing. I'm not sure what that is. I'm um, definitely penthouse. I'm hoping no military vehicles. Um, you'll be able to relax in your own pool and everything outside the casino. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be an awesome DLC. It is set for the day, actually the day before the After Hours came out, July 23rd, as I predicted. Um, I didn't predict it, you know, on video, but I predicted it, you know, on myself. I'm like, okay, so it always releases on a Tuesday. That's when the DLCs come out. Excuse me, I'm yelling again. I'm um, that's when the DLCs usually come out on a Tuesday and, you know... Um, when everything was announced, you know, it was about the same time that the After Hours was announced. It wasn't, um, like a, a video like it was last year. It was kind of this thing, like a, like a GTA Online casino thing, kind of like that. And then Dime Casino, you know, stuff like that, you know, definitely came out. But nothing really major, um, like a month ago like they did last year. But, you know, we finally, I kind of, I kind of did predict, you know, that it, something would come out today. You know, people were saying that the DLC would come out today. And I was just thinking... DLCs come out, maybe they thought, like, the trailer would come out today, but, like, I'm just thinking, like, DLCs come out on Tuesdays, not Thursdays, you know? But anyways, um, I'm gonna wrap this video up, so, yeah, it's coming out the 23rd, the day before, um, the After Hours DLC released. I, I'm actually very excited for this DLC, um, I'm, I'm gonna be playing it, I'm, I might live stream it, I'm not sure when I'm gonna be live streaming it, so, expect me to be on around, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 o'clock in that range, if I get on, um, so you'll, they'll definitely, well, there will be something next Tuesday, um, for the, um, Diamond Casino and Resort DLC, so anyways, guys, I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe, turn on that post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video.